Hello, my people. I look so small. Wait, I look so cute. I just want to pinch my own cheeks. Hi. <laughs> Hello, my people. And if you're new and you're not subscribed, Harry, you stare at them, I stare at them. I am so attractive. <laughs> Be sure to subscribe for clear skin and increases your chances of David Dobrik giving you a Tesla. <laughs> Recently, there's been two things I've been working on. Number one, getting dressed during quarantine. Two, feeling comfortable with having curves on my body. You know what I'm saying? Appreciating the <laughs> And three, please don't demonetize me for that. You know, a booby is a great bird. <laughs> three is shopping sustainably when I can. And four is subscribing you guys and your small businesses. So today, we're gonna do a clothing haul. Hello my people, if you're watching this, go press the link in my Instagram bio because I'm trying to get a 20,000 pre-saves on my new song and I know you probably watch these and don't normally do the thing they say, but this is the time you do do it because I just said do do. Ha ha ha, I'm running out of jokes, okay. <laughs> if you don't know, I used to be glam with Jesse on YouTube, but then all the beauty gurus didn't accept me, so I chose the meme path, which is this. And body positivity, and memes, and body positivity. So, <laughs> like this video if you want more of these. Look like I'm about to give you like an 80s Madonna workout class vibe. Be sure to follow me on Instagram because I'm running out of promises because I'm adorable. <laughs> I promise I'm not full of myself if you're new. It's all for the self-esteem. Anyways, I'm gonna show you some things I've been sustainably buying. I've been posting a lot of fashion-esque TikToks and people have really liked those. I thought I would do a little haul. Let's go. Okay, we're gonna go this way, even though it's not as cool looking, I think. Make you higher, just like Jason Derulo. He wrote that song, right? <laughs> okay, first we got this jacket, which I thrifted from Depop, and I really like it. I literally just looked up Windbreaker because I've really been wanting a Windbreaker, but I realized a lot of them are just plain white or black, and I wanted a colorful one. And I feel like some store like Urban Outfitters would charge like 40 bucks for this, but I got it pretty cheap on Depop, and we love used clothing. Also got this even though I don't have my driver's license. Don't worry, we're working on that. Do, 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 do. Oh, the boobs look great. Okay, so it just is a NASCAR shirt. On the back, it looks like this. Also thrifted this. I really like button-ups. I feel like my style switches between really feminine and really masculine. To be really honest, I definitely feel more confident when I'm in masculine clothing. I don't know, maybe it's like the gay in me. I felt like when I had to come out, I had to only wear masculine clothes and now like I realize I just wear them because I want to when I do, but then also I do enjoy dress and makeup sometimes and the lashes and the things. So yeah, there's that. How do I look? It's creepy, he's not moving his eyes, but it's okay, Harry, I accept it because it's you. All right, I have not tried this on yet, but I really liked it. It reminded me of something I would get in Japan or something, which I went to Japan for like three weeks last year, and it was the best time of my life, and I totally dissociated and escaped from real life, and I hated coming back and remembering that I exist. But anyways. <laughs> We've got this top. To be really honest, in Florida, I haven't really found a lot of thrift stores that have clothes that I would wear, so that's why I've been thrifting online. So if you kind of deal with the same thing where you really want to thrift, but you go to your local thrift shops and nothing's really your style. For me, I always shop in the men's section in my area, but like the women's section is just like floral rompers in Florida, which is totally cool, but like not 100% my energy. Anyways, this is really cute. I like this. Yeah, I mean, they're soft. 
or black lipstick and black outfit. Insert the photo. I like took such hot pictures of myself the other day. I just wanted you all to know that because I'm single. Here's the design on the front. Here's the collar. I like this. I like it. Oh, that's hard to take off. So I'm obsessed with suits. Thanks to Harry Styles and Brendan Urie, I just really have an infatuation with blazers, suits, especially floral ones. I'm not gonna lie, this one's a lot smaller than I thought and a little more feminine than I wanted it to be, but I still really like it. There we go. Obviously not with this color top underneath. Maybe no top underneath. Oh, but <laughs> there we go. Cute. I like this. Oh, I also got this. Rainbow. Listen, I like rainbows regardless of sexuality or anything. They make me happy and they hide that I can be quite dead inside at certain times. But anyways, oh, this is my first time trying this on. Let's see. Hmm. To be really honest, it kind of fits me a little weird. I think I gotta like scrunch up the sleeves a little. Yes, I'm cuffing my sweatshirt. Bisexual energy. <laughs> it's cropped. If I like tied it, it could be a, a nice look. Hmm, what are your thoughts? I'm definitely still gonna wear it. It'll just be a little harder. You gotta put a little bit of work in. Ow, my tit, okay. I bought these from an online store that was just on my explore page. It's called, was it Megu stuff? I don't remember. Yes, I know what that means. I took Spanish class in high school and middle school. Let's see, ooh, I am hot, literally. Ha ha. This is where everyone goes, yes, Jesse, you're so hot. Just kidding. That would be weird. Okay, so I told you I love button-ups. I got this one with a ton of butterflies on it. I like the material. It definitely wrinkles a little more than I would like, but it's super soft. I could probably iron it and fix that up. All right, I'll just wear this one buttons open. Boom. What do we think? Oh, okay, that was an awkward angle. Here's what it looks like. Hmm, hmm. Hmm, I like this a lot, honestly. I think it's like a really good mix for me, kind of like what I was talking about between feminine and masculine. Like the butterflies are kind of feminine, but it's in the style of one of those button ups. I like it, I like it, I like it, I like it. Yay. And then of course, I got more rainbow because I need to shout to the streets, gay rights. Yeah, there's other people in my house. I just need to tell everyone that I constantly scream gay rights. It's a little turtleneck. It's cropped as well. What do we think, guys? I really like it. I'm not gonna lie, I think I have something like this already, but like, do I wear it all the time? Yes. Also, this one is better material, which I really like. That place is really soft stuff. That's something I will definitely give them a 10 out of 10 for, so yay. Also, you can see all my tattoos that I'm still hiding from my father. Cool. Moving on. Oh, my bra drawer has been open, that's awkward. Ooh, the lighting looks cool. I got these pants, I messaged them on Instagram and they were so nice and sweet and I asked them if they still the rainbow pants. They had the rainbow pants. They're so cool. They're from Flair Street. I took some photos with them, but I'll go change into them anyways. Do I just like film a close up of my butt? How to try on holes work with pants. All right, I'm doing this for the girls and the gays, that's it. Here you go, here's the pants, here's what they look like. They're bell bottoms, they go out like this. Cute, these are cool. Also wanted to show you guys my shoes I was wearing. Sorry, I'm an old lady, old father, I mean. Also wanted to show you guys these shoes I was wearing. These are from Drip Creations and they're so sweet. I literally am obsessed with them and they always have new designs and I was like, oh my God, I'm obsessed with the strawberry design. So there we go. I was gonna say something cringy, but it's okay. We're all used to it. I was gonna say it's like sporty meets cottage core. <laughs> I don't know, I thought they were really cute and on both sides they have the little strawberries. I thought they were cute. Okay, let's keep going. I see you looking at my butt, okay. Ooh, this is bad lighting. So, this is okay lighting. A subscriber messaged me and they were like, I'd love to send you some of my earrings in exchange for a post. And I was like, honestly, I really want to support you and purchase them myself. So this is from Nicole Brennan Draws. We also figured out a little collab on my Instagram. I was telling Nicole that I've really wanted to do something in relation to how basically consents a human right. Just cause I've been trying to really talk a lot more about that on my channel. But yes, I have lots of fun earrings. I love them all I shall do an earring haul for you <laughs> these ones say are you ready for it we have be gay do crime hold on we need a better angle here all right I'm gonna have to clean all this up <laughs> I think I need the mirror I shall be back Meh, okay let's try putting these in be gay do crime be gay do crime be gay do crime 
Ooh, I am hot. Now everyone's gonna think I'm saying that and I'm full of myself. I'm just hot. <laughs> I mean, I'm both, like I said, okay. Come on, Jesse, show that self-confidence. Less self-deprecation, okay. Okay, we got one earring in. I haven't felt this sweaty since I used to read Wattpad fan fiction. <laughs> When I was 12. Jesse, you're telling them too much. Listen, I gotta reveal my kryptonite. I trust you enough. Wow, did I get hot and sweaty reading those fanfiction? Okay, this is way too much information. No one wants to hear this. All right, hopefully it's relatable. And then for the audience, it's not relatable for, it's just weird. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, I'm zoomed in. Oh, and I'm zooming in more. Okay, um, uh, okay. Here we go. Here are my be gay, do crime earring. Hold on, I'll get you a close up. Do crimes, uh. That's right, I'm not just doing one crime. How dare I, again, that's self-deprecation. Let's be real, I'm doing more than one crime. I gotta turn in, but here you go. I'm so edgy. Just kidding, I'm not. I watched cartoons all night. Okay. <laughs> and last but not least, I got these stickers from a subscriber. We're getting a close-up. Stop focusing on me. Okay. Just kidding, I love attention. No. <laughs> so, please send love to the subscriber. Chloe J Animation. I will put it on the screen. So we have Hello My People, Not A Phase. We have a guitar. We have me, my face. We have some hair dye. This is just my life, basically. This is my vision board, except it's already happened but it still will continue to happen and then we have when life gives you lemons make it gay that is definitely one of my best quotes I'm truly intellectual the rat's name is Remy again I'm very intelligent <laughs> we got the bi flag gay flag mermaid Jesse boom I love this and I've been using this planner every morning it was just plain black and now I cherish it even more love you <laughs> think for all the curse words in my videos I want to start bleeping them out with squeaky toy effects because I want a dog and I'm manifesting that. I don't know. Anyways, this is probably a bit of a shorter video, but I just wanted to say hi and I've been trying to upload more often. I love my people. I hope you enjoyed. And to any of the people that were here to just look at my butt, I would do the same. <laughs> I'm gonna feature your pages on the screen as well as your posts. I love you and I hope you have a good day. Bye. I